All right, I got the follow-up to yesterday's video. I went over some traits of high-value men. Today, I'm gonna go over some traits of low-value men. You know, these men right here, you know, are the opposite of what I described in yesterday's video. You know, the first trait, you know, and I feel like this one, man, this one like one of the worst ones you could be or worst ones you could do as a, any man is acting needy around people, man. It's nothing worse than a man that's needy. You know, I, you know, I've never, you know, acted needy or felt the need to act needy, especially when it comes to dealing with women, your dating life, you know, if you acting needy around a female, you know, that, that, uh, gives off like weak, emasculine vibe she gonna think you some kind of simp or clown i don't you know what i'm saying you constantly texting her seeing where she at uh every five minutes you like uh how was your day grand rising queen shit like that uh she on text back in a couple hours you blowing her phone up you want to know who she with that's soft that's weak that's soft man i i'm just it is what it is, man. That's a soft ass dude right there. You know, you supposed to be so busy, you know, working on what it is you got going on, having so much most, you ain't even got time to be texting like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be pressing no female, you know, asking her, inquiring about her whereabouts, um, texting her 24 seven nonstop. For one, I work a lot of hours anyway. So I'm like, when I'm at work, I ain't even got my phone on me, you know? And then two, you know, a lot of times I be trying to get these videos off. I be trying to, you know, get my workouts in, uh, editing these videos and shit. Man, sometimes I just don't even want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? There's times where I'm like, I don't even feel like being bothered, man. I just want to sit in the crib, sit my ass on the couch and watch my shows. You know, they can't respect that. Oh, well, tough luck, man. There's another female out there. But I ain't never felt the need, you know, to, to be pressed about no females, you know, Texting them constantly, man. Uh, wishing them a good morning every morning, man. You got to have, you got to have some pride about yourself. You know what I'm saying? She let her do some chasing. If you always, you know, texting, initiating the texting, shit like that, man. That don't do nothing but drive people away. You got to fall back. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the, I'm in the phase now where it's like, shit. I ain't even really been dating like that, man. To be honest with y'all, you know, I be so locked in on these videos, trying to make these videos, go to work, hit the gym. It's like, shit, I'm cool. I done fell back on, on a lot of shit. I don't go out as much. I don't, you know, I ain't, I don't be entertaining females as much, man. I go out to eat, take my vacation and shit like that, go to work. I just do the simple stuff, man, and just try to stay focused on this right here. That's it, you know. And it's been times, you know, over the past, you know, this may help you out too if you feel like you needy or uh, you you displaying some of those tendencies where you acting needy towards a female. You know, I may text a female and she don't respond or say we had some plans. We supposed to meet her, go out to eat or something like that. She hit me back and she like, uh, change of plan. She can't make it now. In the back of my head, man, she, the, the, oh, the, the new email, I'll be like, cool. Now I can just focus on this shit, what I was trying to do, or stay my ass at home, save me a few dollars, cut my show on, or shit. I'm still gonna go out to eat. Shit, I ain't shit, I ain't letting that stop me, man. There was a time, man, I went, I was supposed to meet up with this chick one time. We were supposed to go to Kickback Jack, you know, and uh, we had already set it up. She texted me saying she was on the way. You know, I'm the type, I don't leave till I get that confirmation text. They don't text me saying they about to leave out in five, I'm going to be sitting my ass right on the couch until I get that text. If I don't get a text, then, oh, well, I'm going to go find me something to eat or do whatever. So, boom, we, uh, you know, she's texting me saying she on the way. I'm like, all right, bet. So, I'm already dressed. I, I start, I head out. You, I'm driving. I'm on the way. I get there. You know, I text her. Once I get there, I know here I'm in the parking lot. Boom. I ain't getting no text back. I'm like, all right. Well, shit, I just waiting in the parking lot for about 10, 15 minutes. Then uh, I text her again, and uh, I think she said she on the way or something. I was like, all right, cool. Another 30, 40 minutes, I, uh, I text again. I was like, how, uh, how far you think you away? Ain't getting no response. So I was like, well, shit. I waited like another uh, 45 minutes or so. Then I'm like, well, shit, man. What the fuck going on? So 
you know me, I'm like, well, damn, I'm about to go inside and get me a table, you know? So I went in, got a table, sat down, ain't get no text back, you know? You know what I did? I was said, well, shit, fuck it, man. Motherfucker must, something must have came up or shit, maybe she wasn't feeling me. I don't know. I'm not about to sit here and find out. I'm not about to sit here crying in the car like some pussy. I went in there, got me a table, ordered my food, uh, had me some drinks, man. And uh, what the hell did I do after that, man? I want to say I hit somebody else up that night and linked up with them. I, I think that's what I did. I ain't even going to hold you. I think that's what I did. So it was like, well, shit, you know, it's no love lost. You know, you got to act like that. You got to think like that. You know, if your motherfucker don't test you back this year, just move on with your life. You know, they'll get back with you if it's meant to be. If it ain't meant to be, then oh well, fuck them. It's like, damn, a bus. Man, miss one bus, you know it's another one coming. You know what I'm saying? This is the next thing, you know, of low-value men. They have no ambition or no drive or purpose in life. They ain't got no hustle about themselves. It's like they stagnant. They just content. We're just getting by, you know, they like, shit, I just got down, uh, go work at McDonald's, come home, smoke weed every day, play the video game. It's like they lack no ambition or no, no, uh, direction in their life. You know, that's, that's one of the worst traits you can have too. Cause it's like, you almost like, uh, Jody on baby boy. You just a kid still. In my, in my opinion, you know, you want, you're supposed to be trying to elevate. You're supposed to be trying to better yourself. You know, and I'm not uh, bagging on nobody or talking down on nobody. I'm just saying, like, if you got damn 35 years old still doing some shit like that, you was a damn kid. You know, you, I mean, shit, it's so many different ways you can make money out here, improve yourself. Hell, I work in the prison. There's people that come home from the prison and change their whole life around for the better, man. Start making moves, uh, driving trucks. They done got their family together, bought a house, stuff like that. You know, you got to have some kind of purpose and ambition you can't just be content with just going through the motions you just fucking stuck on stupid you ain't getting off the porch you like i'm just content man i'm just gonna sit here right here in the same same neighborhood to the day i die i ain't gonna leave the state i ain't gonna try out i'm cool with this shit i just go to work come home get my little weed from the weed man smoke play the game and fucking stay up to two in the morning get up at them in the afternoon at one o'clock and go back to work, man. That, to me, I'm like, yo, that's stagnant. You know, it's like you just staying in place and you getting left behind. You know, you gotta have more ambition. You gotta have more desire and more hustle than that. If you are trying to be a man of high value, you know, if you just cool with just being content with that, then I mean, shit, by all means, you know, like I said, I ain't no hater or talking down on nobody, but you know, I just know me personally, it's more than life for me. I can't be content with shit like that. You know, 30, damn near 40 years old, still living with my parents. Goddamn, just got like uh, two two dead-end jobs, no ambition. I'm, I'm just cool with this shit, man. Pay my little bills, smoke my little weed or whatever, man. Go out every weekend. Fuck that, man. I'm like, shit, it's more than life for me. I'm trying to see the world. You know, I'm trying to have money, have my money up. You know, wear a nice car, wear nice clothes, drive nice cars, you know, able to, uh, you know, pay for myself anywhere I go, shit like that, you know. So, like I said, man, you got to have drive, you got to have hustle. This is the next thing of low value, man. They allow others to dictate their self-esteem, their self-esteem. What I mean by that is they care too much what other people think. You know, they love other people's. Uh, opinions and what they got to say or how they feel about what they are doing dictate too much of their life. I'm me. I don't give a fuck what nobody think about me or what, what they got to say about how, or how they feel about me or what I stand for. The things I choose to do with my, I'm a grown ass man. I do what the fuck I want to do. I pay my own bills over here. I live on my own. Everything over here is, is, it was done by me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I, I could care less. If you ain't paying no bills over here, put no money in my pockets there. Who are you? That's how I feel. I would never let nobody dictate me, you know, make me feel uh, what I'm doing is any less or I'm doing the wrong thing. I move on my own two feet, stand on my own 10 toes. I'm a, like I said, I'm a grown ass man. I make grown man decisions over here. You gotta be the same way. Don't let no motherfucker dictate how you wanna move, how what you wanna believe in, you know, who you stand 
uh, who you stand for as a man, shit like that. No, that that's their opinion, man. People's opinions of me, man, I it's sliding right down my back. You know, if it's bad, negative, I give two fucks, man. Because at the end of the day, as long as my pocket's good, you know, I got my my mental. You, I'm good up here. I'm good in my heart. Then everything is cool, man. They can say what they want. They can feel what they want to feel about me, man. You know, I'm good. I'm going to be good regardless. You know, I'm tough mentally. You know, that shit don't phase me. I'm a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? This is the last thing that I want to leave y'all with, man. As far as low value men, it's like they always feel hopeless and unable to do anything about their situation. You know, it's like, I'm going I'm to use me as an example. You know, when I was growing up, I grew up in a negative environment. I grew up poor in the projects in a rough environment. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, my mindset and my desire and ambition to be something more in life, it allowed me to make it out of that situation and to do good for myself. Some people, on the other hand, they allow that situation or their circumstances to dictate their life. You know, it's like they, they like, it's a feeling of hopelessness. I'm never going to make it out of this situation. I'm stuck here. I'm, you know, you got to get your ass up and you got to figure some shit out, man. You're never stuck. It's all in your mindset. You know, if you're, where there's a will, there's a way, man. There's been people in worse situations than me, you know, that come from damn third world countries, man. You know, where you like, you live in some of these countries in third world countries, you like a peasant, man. It's like you dang dirt poor. You know, if you don't make it out, man, you're doomed. You know, over here in the U.S., there's so many fucking opportunities. Why do you think so many people are trying to come to the United States? Because of all these opportunities. You know, you see it all the time. People that immigrate from other countries, they come over here with that hustle, that work ethic. We sit here and laugh at them. They be 10, 20 deep in the car or 20 deep living in one house. Whole time, they hustling their ass off the whole house. Next thing you know, they pulling their money together. They done paid that house off. Now they buy another house. They keep going. That's how they buy the block up. You know what I'm saying? Now they buying stores. They own everything. And shit, the whole time we sitting here laughing at them. And shit, ain't shit funny, man. The only thing they doing is staying focused, staying on their hustle and passing your ass up. You know, I never laugh or shit on nobody, you know, that's trying to better themselves. You know, if anything, I'm going to be inspired by. I'm going to be motivated. You know, there's somebody coming with nothing and they're turning nothing into something you know what i'm saying make it make sense you sitting there laughing hate you know them shit like that it just don't make no sense man but yeah man people like that man always feeling like they depressed or sad that sad shit is over man you know you got to figure it out you got to take a long hard look in the mirror do some deep long soul searching and figure out who you are and what it is you trying to do in your life that's all it is you're gonna have to man up you're going to have to put your chin up and poke your chest out and figure this shit out. You know, life is hard, whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad. The choice is yours. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got the merchandise for sale. Shop with me on my website. Y'all got any comments, questions, concerns, any topics or ideas for future videos y'all may want me to do, drop a comment. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated. Boop.